Anne Shirley, the beloved character from the novel Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery. Known worldwide for her imagination, her love of ice cream, and her bright red hair. I don't like her. This is my family on our first trip to what is now known as Lucy Maud Montgomery's Cavendish National Historic Site. The adorable child in the middle is me. See how impressed I look to be there? Even at three, I saw it coming. When you're an islander, you get used to seeing Anne everywhere, and it's, it's just in your face all the time. When you're an islander with red hair, maximize that by 10, it's so much worse. You not only have to see her everywhere, but you get called Anne constantly. She's everywhere, she's even in the mirror. And don't even get me started on Halloween. Oh, why do you dress up as Anne? Even my own co-workers are in on it. Last month, when I got to work, Ashley asked, do you want to be in the Canada Day Parade? To which I replied, sure, what's the theme? Trust me, it's very fitting. Of course, it was an Anne float. I tried my best to hide my anger. From all over the, world. the more I talked about it, the more I realized I wasn't the only one. It's mostly just after time and time again being called Anne of Green Gables uh, throughout school at any job I've ever had uh, and just in everyday life. So not the biggest fan, I guess. A lot of people use Anne as a nickname or to make fun of me a lot during like school and stuff. And just everyone just kind of assumes that you're Anne because you have red hair. I was in university. I went to University of Cape Breton, and over there, I was the only PEI girl with red hair. So I got called everything from Anakin Gables to Anne of Spud Island. I got called Red. I got Carrot Red. I got you named it for four years straight. So it was quite the experience, and that's when the hair dyeing started. Suddenly, it just became clear to me. The only way to get beyond all of this is to understand why this is such a big deal in the first place. I have to learn more about Anna Green Gables and author Lucy Maud Montgomery. I have to go into the belly of the beast. Um, the Green Gables house originally belonged to the McNeil family. Uh, it, went, it was actually passed down through three generations of the McNeil family. The first generation that lived here was David McNeil Sr. and his wife, and they had five children. Uh, the home was then passed on to his son and daughter, David and Margaret, and they were actually the generation that lived here during Lucy Maud's time, and she obviously just lived on the other side of the woods, and she, when she grew up, while she was growing up, she visited here all the time, and this home served for the inspiration for the novel. I really got to know Lucy Maud after viewing her scrapbooks. She had kept mementos from her life, a tuft of cat hair, her favorite poems, newspaper clippings. Unlike Anne, she was real, sometimes lonely, but always imaginative. She had 20 books published in her lifetime, most of which focused on the life and family of the little orphan girl who came to live at Green Gables. But it still plagued me, why red hair? Anne's red hair is a really important part of the story, I think, because it just symbolizes her fiery personality and how unique she is. She's such a stubborn girl, and she gets into so much trouble. It's, it, yeah, I think it really helps the character. I can say from personal experience, as I said, when I was a child, I hated my hair. But I really have grown to love my hair, just like Anne did. Um, it's very unique, and as you, you may know, we, there's not many redheads left in the world. We're sort of a dwindling population. Um, so I think with, with experience and um, as you go through your life, you'll definitely learn to love your red hair. I visited the McNeil homestead where Lucy Maud had grown up and where she had written Anne of Green Gables. Though the house is long gone, you can still see the foundation and feel the spirit of Maud shine through. I had definitely been seeing this all wrong. Red hair is unique and bright, just like Anne. Maud wrote her character to rise above the name calling and eventually love her red hair. Why couldn't I? Lucy Maud herself said, There are so many unpleasant things in this world that there's no use imagining anymore. Anne and I, we were gonna be okay. This is the most delicious of all bright red drinks in the world. You should try it. Nah. Please. I saw what happened with Diana. It's so good. No. Never in my wildest imagination could I think of something this delicious. No. But Marilla Cuthbert herself made it. No. Try it. No. Try it. No. Try it. No. Please try it. Okay. 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 You'll try it? Yay. Mm. Mm. It's 
It's good. I just know that we're going to be bosom buddies and you and I and Diana can go for walks down the haunted wood and go in lover's lane and go see the lake of shining waters and be best friends.